Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Valder, how are you? Look, I want to hear about the baddest cars in the country, and oh, you're right, right. you're the king of that. They told me. <laughs> That's the rumor. That's the rumor. I'm 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 having a ball. You know, my whole life has been uh, uh, about uh, motorcycles, cars, and music, and right now I'm I'm blessed to have the opportunity to do all three. And uh, the cars are insane. We're having a blast building some really cool cars this season. As a matter of fact, the uh, the premiere episode on the 24th this Tuesday, uh, it was so good, so powerful, the uh, the network actually extended it to a one hour uh, special episode. So it's, it's a blast. Okay, tell me what Counting Cars is. Is it just your passion that you share with us or what do you do? Counting Cars is very much about my personal passion regarding uh, motorcycles and cars. And it, it revolves around uh, my shop, Counts Customs here in Las Vegas, where uh, we go out and we hunt for cars, we hunt for bikes, uh, find them, fix them, repair them, modify them, upgrade them, and and flip them, sell them to uh, to whoever, and, and and you know try to uh, make sure that we you know uh, get enough uh, get enough profit to uh, to keep the shop going, uh, which is a challenge because I'm I'm very much a creative guy, and when I get a hold of a vehicle, I really kind of want to go all out, but. I've got uh, a management uh, team over here that really kind of has to make sure that the numbers make sense. And so the show really kind of is about the business, how it operates, the before and afters of the vehicles that we do. And, and something that kind of happened interesting with the show is the people's story behind the vehicles. Sometimes people will bring me their vehicle uh, for us to restore and... Uh, to learn their stories as to why this vehicle is important to them. Sometimes it's a very fun and funny story. Sometimes it's a really heartfelt story about, you know, family members and, and memories and things in the past. So it's, uh, it's a show very much about the business, about the bikes, about the cars, but it's really about people and their stories. It's, it's, a, it's a really cool, really cool show. It's a hit series on the History Channel. Had you thought about it also being an environmental show because you're saving something, you're taking it and you're refurbishing it rather than contributing to the trash we have on the planet? Well, that's a very interesting perspective, and I appreciate you taking that perspective because, you know, a lot of people uh, look at the vehicles that I do and, you know, being classic cars uh, and or classic hot rods and things like that, they're like, you know, oh, dude, you're not, you're not very environmentally friendly. Uh, because of the type of vehicles that we do. But from your perspective, I, I like that. I'm, I'm, we're, we're, we're restoring what I consider uh, American history. So many of these vehicles are historically significant over time, and uh, I like to look at them as preservation and keeping them. And like you said, we're not piling up more trash on the planet. We're making things pretty. I think it's a good job. <laughs> Let me ask you, you're out there in Las Vegas, so is the custom car business really good because it's Las Vegas? You know, it's, uh, it's very good out here, as a matter of fact. Vegas has a lot of interesting people in it. Uh, you, you, get, you get a lot of uh, uh, travelers through here. You also get uh, people that spend part of their time here. But uh, there's, there's a, a great uh, automotive market here in Las Vegas because the weather is so good. Uh, you know, you can, you can have a cool car, a classic car, a hot rod, a motorcycle, and you can enjoy it all year round here in Las Vegas. So there are a lot of really nice vehicles here. And as far as hunting is concerned and shopping and finding these vehicles, it's, it's great finding cars that, you know, maybe has been in somebody's garage or in their backyard or out in the desert. 
uh, and, and they're very restorable out here because of the climate. You, you, you don't get a lot of rusted out vehicles. The vehicles out here are very dry. They're, they're, they're normally a very solid body, solid frame, things like that. So it's, it's great shopping out here in the, in the desert climate for vehicles to restore. Has your business really prospered by doing this and being on TV also, too? I'd, I'd just love to know that. It's, it's really been a major blessing. Uh, when we started the show, there were nine of us at the shop and, uh, and one building. There are now approximately 48 of us uh, working at the shop out of approximately five buildings now. So it's been uh, a major blessing for, for the business and uh, a huge challenge, I got to say, I've never worked harder in my life. It's uh, pretty much 24-7 for me, but I am the luckiest guy in the world being able to do what I love to do, create real jobs for real people that have families to support, and uh, doing what I love and paying the bills. Thank God for that. When do you want us to watch you on a History Channel for custom cars? History Channel? Counting cars, 9 p.m., yep, yep, 9 p.m., Counting Cars, History Channel, Tuesdays at 9. Uh, we kick off February 24th with a one-hour premiere episode. Please check it out. I promise you won't be disappointed. It's fun. It's fun. I want to thank you so much for being so open and candid about what you do and your personal uh, aspects of your business, Danny. It's really nice to hear someone talk about, you know, being on TV. But, hey, I love what I'm doing and making money. Thank hey, you, man. Danny. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it.